if something goes wrong then you are on your own for hours maybe days before you have outside support if it's true that every journey starts with a single step then ours starts when we walk into a big echoey storeroom with shelves two stories high at Unis, the university center in Svalbard. To travel safely in the Arctic, you need warm clothes, safety equipment, a special box with a tent, emergency sleeping bag, stove, and freeze-dried food. Unis, the university center in Svalbard, supplies everything. And you have to have guns. Martin Indreten explains. So for polar bear protection, they have to bring firearms. And for that, uh, they bring with them uh, a single pistol. This is to scare off the, the polar bear. Uh, makes a big bang when you fire it. Um, so that's maybe the most important uh, equipment you bring with you. You can scare off bears. If you cannot scare off the bear, you could find yourself in like a self-defense situation where you have to shoot a polar bear. And uh, for that, we use uh, a bolt-action uh, big-game rifle. A tiny plane takes us from Longyearbyen to the coal mining town of Svea. After 15 minutes in the air, it appears as a gray smudge on the snow. We land, and our journey continues on a snowmobile to the lab to pick up equipment and then head out on the ice again. The snow machines are always parked facing away from the lab because you always park facing the direction of escape. My driver, Alexei Shestov, is a postdoc at NTNU. He heads us towards little pinpricks of people, ice researchers out on the frozen sea. Our target is something like a miniature white circus tent. Its canvas walls offer a place to store things and protection for us. Everyone wears flare guns. Holstered rifles are at hand, all in case of polar bears. The researchers use chainsaws and giant ice borers to get into the ice. Their goal is to make different measurements to see how strong the ice is. They can use this information to design ships and other structures that can better protect the Arctic when we travel and work there. They will spend weeks working here in the cold, commuting every day on snow machines to spend hours out in the open. It's hard work in a cold, remote place. But if you ask the researchers, they would probably say, it's the world's best open landscape office. Wonderful. Perfect. Спасибо.